Good day viewers, welcome to a game called Moe Ninja Girl and Shadow Blade. So as you can see I already finished this a lot, I mean I already played some of the story and I already got some characters so I'm gonna start at season 1 from the very beginning. Prologue Expert as sabotage information, manipulation and assassination. Japanese spies who served their lords in darkness. Convert and silent. They too took part in shaping the history of Japan. Now in modern society, there is no one who, who has seen, much less believe in the existence of ninjas. Or there is there. Let's set up a club to look for ninjas. This girl sure does. If there are ninjas, I'd like to talk to them. All, all your searching will be in vain. There are no ninjas. Hey, what do you think? Me? How am I supposed to react? What am I supposed to say? I can't reveal my true identity to them. At a time like this, I can't tell them that I'm actually a legendary ninja. Setting up a ninja seeking club, the craziest idea ever has somehow man managed to be accepted. An official school club and we have managed to gather enough club members to start our activities. Phew, that was certainly a lot of cleaning. Shame we didn't take take a before photo. It would have been lovely to compare to this beautiful after. When the only thing that changed is he got rid of all of the dust, this place is still a disaster. I think this room is fine. It's like a ninja hideout. Indeed. How can call be a ninja hideout where there's a window on it? Senpais, we all, we we're already over here as well. Yeah, let's get this party rocking, babies. Great. Now, Shadow, will you be the honors? Okay. Um. Ahem. Here to our success in setting up the Ninja Seeking Club. Cheers. Cheers. I like these cookies. I'm glad you like them, Akari Senpai. We baked them in the cooking class today. Wow, you baked this at school? That's amazing. Mew Mew, you're so good at cooking and fluffy and huggable. You're, you're just what you call my waifu, right Shadow? Stop dragging Shadow into your nonsense, Yamabuki. You jealous, Miss Teacher Pet? Hmm, and you? Jealous at Shadow looking at me? You? Why would I be? Such a classic sundare. Shadow, you want someone more mature like me as your wife, wouldn't you? Thank Shadow, getting married? While still a student? Wait, wait, he's, he's not the only guy around, ladies! I wanna be a harem too! Everyone's silent. Whoa, total the cold shoulders! Right, we got we got to take a group photo in the com 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 Sure, why not? Let's get the manager in the cl club and our vice manager in the middle then. Oh, I don't have to. Come on, let's go, Shadow. If you insist. Seeing you are standing in front of me, Shadow. Perhaps I'll give you a little tr a little treat. All right, everybody, squeeze together. Hey, stop. Pushing. Yeah, book is so close. I can say, I may I stand next to you? You're looking great, guys. Everyone, get ready. Ichi, Ichi, Ichi is me. It's cherry blossom season, the season of new beginning. So, what was the beginning of this new beginning like? It all began ten days ago. Chapter one, Mizaki School. It's cherry blossom season, a season of changes, in a new beginnings. I wonder what most people my age think when they hear an ordinary everyday life. School festivals, club activities, or maybe sitting in a classroom taking lessons. None of this ever had anything to do with me, but it's going to be different from now on. I'm going to lead a peaceful life here at Mizaki School. First, I need to go to the principal's office to put in my transfer papers and get the rundown. An ordinary existence, not an extraordinary one. A quiet life, not a dramatic one. Normal, boring, even I'm going to live the most average, unremarkable life ever. At least that was I thought. Help! 
In front of the school, from the top of the hill, I hear a voice ring out. A voice that is shatter my normal and remarkable life. What? I look up the long, long out and as I do, I see a pretty blonde haired girl racing down the hill with her bicycle at incredible speed. In fact, she's coming right at me. Out of my way, please! Actually, no! Somebody stop me! What's going on here? Akari, what are you doing? The girl standing next to me shout out the hill. Her long, sleek black hair flutters in the wind and there's a worried expression on her face, pretty face. No, stop it. This isn't the time for me to be admiring her. And you, good morning. Don't good morning me. Look out. Stop that thing right now. Well, I'd really, lo really love to stop. But you see, the brakes aren't working. Please don't have to be laughing. Looks like we got no choice. Hey, you there. Huh? Me? Well, there's no one else here, is there? Come on, the two of us are going to stop that bike. For some reason, I suddenly get the feeling I'm about to be caught up in something far from ordinary. But if I don't do anything, things are going to get messy. Oh well, time to man up. Alright. Okay, full speed ahead! You're going to stop your best best to stop that bike, got it? Come on, we need we need you to time it just right. Alright. Working together with the girl next to me? Okay, now. The two of us take the whole of the bike handles. Alright, we caught it. Alright, you stop it. Wait, what the? Huh? It hasn't stopped at all. <sighs> We're getting getting dragged along too. Wait, 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 wait. There's a gorilla up ahead. How can it get off? I can. The bicycle, the girl and riding flies into the air. Along with me and the other girl who tried to stop it. Wow, this is like a movie or something. Why are you so relaxed? At least they were going to hit the ground. If I don't do anything, we're all gonna crash onto the ground. I have to save them. But I can only grab one of them. Which one should I reach out to? Her, huh? Hey, what are you reaching out to me? Yeek! Ow. I didn't expect to get all tangled up and fall. Are you okay? Hey you, what's that hand doing exactly? Huh? I look down to see the hand leash out with had caught her amber blossom. Wait, you got it all wrong. I'm innocent. Who's innocent? And I? And how about letting go of me? How oh, I fell on my high knee. Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. Well, anyway, no one's hurt, so that's good, right? And I? That's pretty harsh considering I save you. Oh, hey, are you the new transfer student? What's your name? What class are you in? Akari, we're going to be late. But, but he didn't answer yet. See you later, okay? Bye. Will I see them again? They're pretty loud, but they're really cute. An incident like that happening in my first day? Pretty far removed from an unremarkable everyday life. But it's not bad either. Like someone out of an anime. Oh no, I'm going to be late. Panicking, I hit the school. So this is the principal's office. I reach out to knock, but before I have a chance, the door opened in zone. Whoa, sorry, didn't think anyone was there. Oh, sure, no, no problem. A foreigner? I heard from the principal that there was another transfer student besides me, so that's you, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's me. So he's a transfer student too. You want to see the principal, right? Yeah, thanks. The blonde hair transfer student stepped aside to let me through. Still bit with it. I step inside the room. Quite an eventful trip to school, it seems. It's not like it's my fault. I'm greeted by an elderly man with a gentle smile. He's the school's principal. And what's more, he's also my savior. I heard you wanted to speak with me. Yes, I thought we should meet at least once, seeing as you were transfer, transferred here. First of all, let, let me congratulate you on successful transfer, Mr. Shadowblade. It's all thanks to you. All I did was approve your transfer. From now on, everything would be up to you. By the way, that bag of your, on your back is the Xing, Xing Lai. As bamboo sword for practice, correct? Yeah, I guess that's what you called it. A student would not usually be walking around with a Shanghai unless he was in a kendo club. Not to mention an even more dangerous weapon. Perhaps an 80s gang member, but not today. 
However, you may have spent your days until now in whatever experience you may have acquired. You should forget these things while you're at the school. From now on, you will be leading a life that is unfamiliar to you, a regular life. I want you to keep that in mind. I see. I'll leave it behind starting tomorrow. Alright. After all, it's not something I'm going to need now. Having met the principal, I leave his office and head to the classroom. And now I keep going this way to the classroom. Then it's time for homeroom. And before that, you gotta give your time for introduction. Standing there in, in is the blonde haired transfer student I met before I went to the principal's office. You, um, I'm Johnny Spicer. You can call me Johnny. John Spicer. I'm studying abroad here because I love this country, uh, country's anime, games and manga, especially ninja and stuff. Ninja? Please to meet you, bro. Uh, yeah. Likewise, bro. When Jana arrived at the classroom, the homeroom teacher has given us a self-introduction. First impressions are important. How well this goes to decide how my entire life goes. Alright, on ordinary life, here we go. I'm Shadow Blake, pleased to meet you. Aha! You're the boy from this morning. Incredible, huh? It must be fate. Wait, what? I don't understand what you meant. The hentai from this morning. Alright, I understand what you mean, but I'm not a hentai. I never thought it would be the same, same as those two from this morning. So you already know each other. In that case, Shadow can sit behind Hanao. Huh? Hey, so where do I sit each? You can sit in front now, in front row. Oh shit, I want to sit in the back too. And so that was our seats were decided. Second from the back window seat. Not bad seat at all, really. Hey, the girl sit in front in front of me casually turn her chair around to face me. Nice to meet you again, Shadow. I'm Akari Hanao. We're in the same class, and our seats are so close. It's gotta be fate, right? No, it's a coincidence. No, 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 it's definitely fate. Please meet you, Shadow. Yeah, sure, please do. Alright, at that moment, Akari stretched out my, over my desk. As a result, her are resting on my desk. That's right. Her large vulpurous press. Huh? Never mind. Pleased to meet you. Don't let him bother you, Akari. Just ignore him. Um, I'm pretty sure she's the one bothering me. The voice interrupts from the seat next to Akari. This, this girl is... And you, wasn't it? Could you not say my name so casually? So I'm right, in, uh, in other words. What? You tricked me! You pretty much walked right into it. Hey, if you don't understand something, be sure to ask me or Angie, okay? Don't drag me into it. But you know a lot a lot more about the school than I do, Angie. Oh really? Angie is really amazing. She's the class rep and she's even on the student council. Wow, that really is something. You think being praised by you makes me happy? Oh well, I guess you have you just have transferred here. If you have having trouble, I suppose I can tell you whatever you want need to know. It's my job as class representative after all. Just don't get the wrong idea. I see, thanks. And so the first period begins. The first lesson is modern Japanese. The subject of the lesson is a paper about this year's goal that we have to turn in. I see. This is perfect subject for me right now. If I could write about it, that is. I never written a paper before in my life. Alright, I know. When there's something I don't understand, it'd be quicker if I ask someone. So, who should I ask? And you, that was actually said. Hey, and you, what should I write for the paper? You should think about that for yourself. Please help me, class rep, and student council member, and you, son. <sighs> well, it's about your goals for this year, right? So write what about you, what, what you're hoping for. Do well, in the do well in the club activities, make a hundred friends, that sort of thing. Don't you have any goals in, like that? Goals? Right, yeah. A quiet school life. That's a pretty boring goal. <laughs> well, yeah, well... 
that really is the only goal though. I'm going to have a hard time writing a whole paragraph, let alone a whole paper. Oh, don't worry about the words count. Just add some words here and there. It makes things up in the flesh out, out a bit. It'll be fine. Are you, really, are you really a straight A student? At long last, the first period comes to an end. Hey Shadow, how the lesson go? Whoa! Hey Johnson, where, where are you from? Wow, such this blonde hair, how cool! And such a stud! Hello, hang on there ladies, I'm not going anywhere. Johnny is like, so you are like, super popular. That's right, unlike Shadow. What? I don't think that's true at all. It's fine, I'm not standing out, and I'm never going to stand out more than a foreign exchange student anyway. Oh yeah, since it's start start of the school year, how about we share our goals? It's just me or does it sound like, like the paper we just wrote? I'll start. I want to try something for the first time. You're ignoring me. Such as? Something I don't know about, something I'm interested in but never tried it before. Anything, everything. Is it possible to do everything? Something you never tried before, huh? Don't pay attention to her shadow, she's just making this up as she goes along. How mean! Hey, see, as we just met shadow, when I start something new, we should do it together. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, this right. This is the school life I've been dreaming of. I want to enjoy my youth like like any young person should. We're a cute girl if possible. So I'm happy that the suggestion should be started to do something new together. Hmm. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. I have to think about it. Right, it's a promise. Now they think back. Perhaps I got a little carried away making a reckless promise like that. But that didn't occur to me until a little while later. Hey Shadow, I'll show you around the school. We're on our lunch break. When Angie says this to me all of a sudden. What's your angle? That's a very nice thing to say. Well, you hate me, don't you? It's not that I hate you. I'm just being duly caution. Caution, you say. Anyway, you just transferred here, right? You don't know the layout of the school at all. I thought about inviting Johnson as well, but he's not here. Maybe someone else is showing him around. Oh, I see. I guess you're nicer than I thought, huh? Don't get the wrong idea. I'm just doing my duty as class representative. I'm not getting the wrong idea. I'm just complimenting you. Just be honest with yourself and accept it. I'm always honest with myself. Oh well, makes sense. I guess there's no reason for me to refuse her offer. Alright. Lead the way. Guys, I wanna go too. You don't need to be shown around Nakari, you think? I'm still kinda fuzzy where all the different classrooms are. You've been going here a year, haven't you? Come on, it doesn't matter. Let's go. Lunch break is, is gonna be over soon. Alright, this school's schoolyard and over there is the annex. I see, I see. You're nodding along, but... Are you actually listening? Are you going to remember this? I'm listening, I'll remember. More importantly... Wow, look at that! A bunny! There's a bunny! Which means there's a breeding house here! You might want to stop her. Yes, right. Akari, what are you doing in there? Get out! But... But... I didn't know we had a breeding house here? Speaking of which, why is it unlocked? Yo! The moment I turn around, I bump into a small girl. She stumbled in the same instant I catch hold her by my hand. Sorry, you okay? Ah. Uh. The girl shot her, reaching for the rabbit on her head. Why is the rabbit on her head? Thank you, rabbit. Huh? That rabbit just spoke! Oh no, it wasn't the rabbit. I was just doing a botanism. Change, change voice. Good afternoon. But your mouth is moving. I'm sorry. Her face by red. the girl runs away, carrying the rabbit with her. Despite her look, she moves with incredibly swiftness. What was that? Who knows? And this is the key to the breeding house. You're right, did the girl drop it? She did have a rabbit on her head. 
At any rate, we should lock the door. I'll take it to the teacher's room later. Uh, why did you lock me right in front of my eyes? I thought you were gonna leave me in there. I did think about it. You're so mean. You're not going to get mad over that? She's not, because I'm always looking after her. Yep, she sure is. It's not a, not a relationship I could really understand, but I guess it's a bond of trust, maybe. Alright, we took the key back to the teacher's room. So let's head to the next place. Come on, we need to hurry. Hey, don't talk on me. Sorry, I got carried away. Hey, don't let go all of a sudden it's my fault. And you took a hold of my arm and pulled then suddenly let go, sending me flying. Basically like a hammer throw. Wait, this is no time to be describing about it. Hmm? I can't. I can't touch her. At this rate, I'm gonna fly into her chest. Wait. Maybe flying to her chest isn't really a problem. In fact, maybe I'm lucky. Onward to paradise. <laughs> it's a waste, but Angel will get mad at me again if I can just push her away. Oof. Huh? Hey, this isn't so... No, no. What's this unexpected soft feeling? Oh my. This feeling in my hand. Huh? A blissful soft feeling and a chill running down my spine. Shadow, do you have any last words? Wait, it wasn't my... No excuses! How am I supposed to say my last word? Really, come on Tenge, knock it off. Oh, but I didn't do anything wrong. Well, seeing you met now, I guess I should introduce you. This is Tenge Yomoda. For what, 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 what is worth? She's a third year student on the student council, so may make her your senpai. Hello, hello, just just because I'm your senpai doesn't mean you have to be formal around me, okay? Right, I'm Shadow Blade, pleased to meet you. Oh, it still hurts. Shadow, is it? I'll remember it. Let's be friends, okay? Sure. She extended her hand for me to shake. But because Tenge is leaning forward a little from the top of her, I can see her breath almost. But not quite. Just a little further, just a little further to the bottom of the abyss. <laughs> yeah, and I, I didn't say anything. Well, the, this is it. Time almost up. We should go, go ahead and eat lunch. Yeah, we, we've been walking for quite a while, actually. Shadow, what are you ha having for lunch? I didn't bring anything. In that case, let's go to the cafeteria. It should be pretty empty by now. Good idea, since the whole shop is probably all sold out. You're right, almost no time left for lunch break. Shall we hurry? By the time we re realized, there were only about 10 minutes for lunch break left. We will make it for time for lunch. It's fine, a cafeteria's motto is cheap, fast, and average tasting. Wow, I'm looking forward to lunch. You could at least lie and tell me it tastes good. You're always arguing back, aren't you? There's no time, so let's hurry. Okay. Right, right. We hurry along, walking into the opposite direction from everyone else. Now that I think about it, this isn't bad at all. I regular our school, school life as a student. I finally found what I wanted. Peaceful day of normality. However. Oh. Shadow, hurry up or we'll leave you behind. For an instant, I sense a murderous intent. No, it must be my imagination. There's no way I would sense any anything like that in the place like this. Alright, I'm coming. What is, what is it? Something bothering you? No, my mistake. Probably. Really? Hey, come on, let's go! Alright, alright, I'm coming. Before we walk up, I want to look back once more. But instead, I shake my head and follow Ak after Akarin and you. So what on earth is this exactly? Well, we're doing the next episode preview, you and I. No way, I'm leaving. Ah, being hated so much makes me feel you even more excited, you know. I don't even know what you're talking about. Alright, seriously now, let's do the next episode preview. The morning parts end safe and sound, though as you can see, Shadow seems to have a lot of problems on his own. I will... 
I just wish he wouldn't cause so much trouble. Shadow does, does his best to fit in with everyday life. However, he is followed by a sincere shadow. I get a feeling things are going to get hectic soon. But we'll leave that for another time. For now, looking forward to seeing Shadow struggle. I'll be having some fun with him too. That's a creepy smile. This time, things en ended without much excitement. But it was our first episode, so forgive us, okay? That's so better fiction, thank you. Well, chapter 2 I've always wanted is the afternoon part. See you next time. I wonder if this really counts in the next episode of review. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, guys. So we'll go to this next part. Next part will be on chapter 2. But that's for now. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe and a like. And we'll go to your next part. So shall we?